Hello, welcome back to 7 Days. Day 21, it is Horde Day. And I've been mining. It just turned morning. So I'm ready to go back to the base. But let's get these couple zombies that are out here. Hello. Good morning. All right. Awesome. So as you can see, I've gone back to the stone sledge. I've gone back to the stone sledgehammer because uh, a whole bunch of people have been telling me that it still hits hard, but it uses less stamina and it's faster. And I am, uh, I am agreeing because um, it feels better. It actually feels better than the iron sledgehammer. Yep. So this is feeling great. I love this. Thank you for the tips. This this is awesome. <laughs> I never would have realized that because in general, you just want to progress, you know, to the next best weapon. So you don't think of going back or think of comparing like the new weapons versus the old weapons. But this feels really good, actually. So I'm really happy that <clears throat> you guys are helping me out. This is great. And where's my bike? <laughs> Where is the bike? Right here. Right here? There we go, bike. Yeah, I was out here mining coal. I think I have about 700, so I should be able to go back and make some more bullets now. And then I think we have one skill point to spend as well, so we'll do that once we get back to the base. But I need to go work on my horde base. I wanna expand the platform a little bit. And, um, work on my ramp, I think, um, or work on my window. So we shall do that. Here we go. I have made the pistol two. Yeah, I decided to make it. So we will uh, be taking out the pipe pistol here and we will be carrying two pistols instead. So yeah, <laughs> actually let's switch out the mod really quick. Uh, modify, take this out, awesome. And then we shall put it into the level two here. Complete. And then we're gonna have two of these pistols so we can switch really quick. Even though it's pretty quick at reloading, right? <laughs> maybe I only need one. Yeah, maybe I only need one, right? Yeah, it's really quick at reloading, so it should be fine. Uh, right now I wanna make gunpowder because I need Yes, perfect. Hopefully it'll be done in time because um, I do have 900 bullet tips and 300 bullet casings. So I could make 300 more bullets, but I needed the gunpowder. Hopefully it'll be in time. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and uh, wait for that. I mean, we'll do something else while we wait for that. Let's make some blackstrap coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I love blackstrap coffee. Let's see what we got in here. Yay, we have some. Ready to boil? There we go. Nine and two, so that's about 12 minutes. Oh, I hear, I hear her, the screamer. My workbenches are going, so she's here. She is here. I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Die, both of you. Nope, no screaming. Okay, good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shoot. Is there another one? There is another one. Where are you?
I just heard her. Oh, she's not dead. She's not dead. Come here. Yep. Take that. He can die on the wires. Come here. Come here. Wow, this sludge feels wonderful. <laughs> you guys were so right. Anybody else? There you go. Beautiful. <gasps> ah! I believe he was not dead! Oh gosh. <sighs> Let's get this baggie. Yes. I hear you. <gasps> oh. Dad, right? <laughs> All right. Good, good. All righty, here we go. Here's the skill. Now, I missed this skill because I thought it was for a different weapon. <laughs> and I didn't read it very clearly or very closely. But um, the tips, the comments and tips have been coming in and everyone's been telling me, hey, you could put a point into a perk that will make your slush hammer faster. So here we go. Big and fast is what it's called. And um, swing those big guns faster. Clubs and sledgehammers are 10% faster. So I totally missed this perk. And I'm so happy y'all told me about it because I need this. I totally need this. <laughs> so we will put one point in here. And our next point will probably go into the next, the next ones here. Oh, this is level 10. Okay, I'm only level 7, so. Well, I can still put one in here. Okay, that's awesome. That's amazing. That'll help so much, so much. I mean, I am also almost maxed out on Skull Crusher. I thought this helps with stamina too, though. Okay, this helps with stamina, but this helps with speed. That's the problem. I see, I see. You need both. You need both. Okay, great. Alrighty, while the bullets are cooking in the workbench, let's go over here and let's work on the base here. Uh, I want to expand the top level here. So, yep, I'm gonna take these out. Actually, let's make sure. There you go.
Alrighty, I think I'm finished upgrading. Here we go. I've added some height to the top of my base here because uh, last time one of the zombies was able to climb over. So I added a little bit of height. So even if they stack up and, or try to jump over, they cannot. I put some spikes up there in case we get birds this time. We have not gotten any flyers. So hopefully they don't show up, but if they do, if they do, there's um, some spikes on top. And then um, the ramp is basically the same. So, yep, I put bars here, bars are there. I put this little block here. Um, I think it's a, a half frame block, something like that. <laughs> um, hopefully if they do get up to the window, they cannot get through because this will be a tight squeeze here. And then um, this ramp is exactly the same. I've just fixed it a little bit. Um, I should probably plate this area. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and plate this. There we go. Let's plate a little bit higher. Because um, I don't want them to be able to stand on there. I think I've seen them standing on these plates when they were lower, so <laughs> just want to make sure. There we go. And two more for the front here. There we go. That'll give it a little extra protection. And um, here is the expansion on top. I just brought the blocks out one. I would have expanded the whole bottom as well, uh, one block out extra, but there are plates here and I would have to destroy all of these plates to to add to the bottom. So I'm not about to do that. So I just added I just added to the top. So now we have an overhang, but that's okay. And then this is my entrance. Um, it was a little bit awkward having the the ladder here because I wanted to block this in. So I made a, a little ramp, a little ramp that came out here. So we could just go in like this. There we go. All right. So I have a little more room to play in here. And then um, bars on top and I am enclosed. So, so the birds don't get me if they do come. Um, I should make ladders going up. Yeah, you know what? Let's make a ladder going up because I actually cannot get up there. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So that's the top. Okay, great. Uh, time 1700. I believe this, I'm all set with this. So back over here. And let's just jump in here and craft a little bit more. I need to make more bullets. Yep, bullets, bullets, bullets. That's gonna save my life in the end. <laughs> Okay, I have 198. Awesome. But I think I can make a few more, right? Uh, I should be able to make more. Why can't I make more? Oh, bullet casings. Okay, I'm out of bullet casings. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I know where some radiators are, so we will get those. We will be going to get those uh, in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of the stuff that we're not using away. Alrighty, I think I am ready. I think I'm prepared enough. <laughs> I don't want to overthink it, but um, here's my inventory really quick. Food, water, uh, blackstrap coffee, ammo, uh, some meds. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our, um, our little stats here. Level 23, game stage 49, enemy kills for 13. And we still only have one death, although we've come close a couple a couple more times after that first death. <laughs> but I am maintaining, I am maintaining. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Do we have any uh, things to redeem? Yes, we do. Okay, awesome. Let's redeem this. Redeem this, corn. And this right here, survival medium. Survive for a total of 14 real life hours. Hello, we did it. <laughs> awesome. And uh, we'll be completing some more as we do stuff. Okay, 
It is 1951, so let's go on ahead, run over to the Horde base. I mean, though, there's nothing to do over there, really. Okay, let's just uh, get on over there and wait it out. Let's wait it out. All right, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> um, so I have not upgraded this block because I'm not sure if I can find a better block to put here because I want a block here that I can melee through but also where the zombies cannot come through if they pile up. I thought this block would work but it feels really tight for me. Yeah, it feels so tight. So I'm trying to find a different block that maybe will help me uh, melee but not feel so tight. Mm. I was thinking maybe this one right here this uh, double pole and just uh, have it vertical, let's see, like this, and put it there. Let's try it. Like this. Maybe that'll be better. Can I uh, melee through this? I just don't want the zombies' heads to be too high and then I can't hit them. See, like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Yeah, if the zombies are heads are too high and I try to aim for them, then I might have a problem. Okay, so maybe not that one. Um, let's see here. Maybe vertical. Can we put it vertical? Like this? No, then the sides are too tight and I yeah, I need a little more room. Hmm. Maybe the one I was using was okay. Uh, which was, which was that? Which one was that? Okay, where is that now? That one? <laughs> it's like a, like a half corner window. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> this side's a little tight though. I don't know. I feel like though they're not gonna really come up to the window this time though. Because they're probably going to jump and run, uh, jump down. So, yeah. I'm not even sure if this is a good melee, a uh, good melee position. We shall see. I feel like most of them are going to drop down and that I won't be, even be, be, be able to hit them. All right. 2152. Let's go ahead and drink our coffee. Actually, let's put this down here. Okay. And uh, let's put our food here. This pumpkin pie is awesome. And let's use this. All right, it is 2200. We're here. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Then. Let's just do that. Okay. Yeah, see, they're falling now, so... They can't get to me, so that's a problem. I cannot melee. I want to melee. There we go. Uh, I need them to get to me. This doesn't work if I can't melee them. an issue. I do want to melee them, but I don't want them piling up. <laughs> That's the problem. All right, they're getting over now. Good. Now they just come over consistently. Yep. 
Yep, I'm destroying my little ramp here. I don't like this. I guess I'm just shooting them tonight. <laughs> I wish I could melee, but it's not gonna work. Just gotta aim for the head. Still makes it very easy. <laughs> I gotta say. Maybe I don't want a melee base after all. I mean, the only the only reason I wanted a melee base is because I don't have enough bullets. That's all. If I had enough bullets, I wouldn't care. Ooh, nice. Can I get it? are coming over.
right, it's, uh, let's see, what, almost one o'clock? It is one o'clock, okay. And my bullets are 357. I'm gonna do something very dangerous. Do something very, very dangerous. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this is probably gonna kill me, but I am going to put um, something <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How about here? It's gonna be dangerous. Can they come over? I want them to come over. So I'm gonna use melee. <gasps> uh oh. I hear them. The vultures. There we go. I want to use melee, so I put that little black there so they can come over. Come on. Awesome. Come on up. Very dangerous. They can pile up anytime. Want a little action here. Come on up. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Don't fall. Beautiful. Come right here. Come on, come on. Beautiful. Don't fall. Stay, 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 stay. It takes so much. It takes so much to hit him. To kill him. I think it's the same one. I don't think he's dead yet. Where is he? 
Is he down there? Trying to get the bag. No? Okay. Wait, simple as almost there. Bit of uh, ammo left. You can make it. You can make it. A lot of dogs tonight. It could be uh, just the same dogs, just recycling. They just come up because uh, they're just cycling up because I have. I'm not killing them. the wolves whatever those were the werewolf is it a werewolf i think they're gone right so i might as well just put this here oh i want to melee again <laughs> i want to melee again come on guys come here Okay, it is in this time. Woo! Still that many left. Be careful, there's there's still some left. There you are. We're done. Whew! Crazy. That was crazy. Grab these bags really quick. Oh, 
Awesome. Assault rifle? Uh... I don't know. We don't really need them. Alright. I think we're good. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it was going well. Uh, my only problem is that I wanted to melee and I couldn't because they were kept dropping and then the the werewolf showed up and that was freaking terrifying like I'm not even kidding I was about to uh, poop in my pants <laughs> oh. uh, there's uh, some damage but uh, I put the plates on so that's really really good that I did that because it looks like they were pounding on this quite hard yeah there was some um, damage here so they did do uh, a little bit of damage here. Let's see here, anything else? For the most part, they weren't really. Uh... Oops, where where are we here? Yeah, for the most part, they came straight at me. They were cycling through pretty pretty uh easily like they weren't getting stuck anywhere I didn't realize this was gonna um I didn't realize that was so much damaged I mean they did break that little piece I put in the top part here of the window uh that was the werewolf <laughs> he broke it and I freaked out Oh yeah, lots of damage. Damage here. Yep, everywhere. Yeah, they wanted to get to me from the backside here. Because they were pounding on that stuff too. Alright. Uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and I'll go upstairs. Just want to check to see if there's any damage up here. Oh yeah. That one that one spike did get some birds up probably. I did hear vultures, but I didn't have time to look up. Okay. So it looks like that was the only damaged one. Alright. Well I'm gonna say that that went a lot better than the last two um horde knights, which were the first two. <laughs> Of the series yeah that went a lot better uh except for the dire uh, the, is it the dire wolf or the werewolf except for the wolf showing up the werewolf <laughs> i'm not call it's a monster wolf i'm gonna call the call, i'm gonna call it the monster wolf he was a freaking monster he's a beast that beast <sighs> yes i'm calling him beast from now on he's a beast Except for the beast showing up, everything went pretty well. <laughs> uh, they didn't break through into into where I was at, so that's a success. I call it a success. Success. <laughs> oh, all right. I have to um, I have to rethink the horde, horde base. I need to, you know, make it stronger because I think cops are coming, right? Cops. Uh, demos will be a lot later, but cops and spitters are definitely going to be showing up soon. So we got to beef up our horde base. But for now, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. I'd love to see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.